If the Muslim community wants to see a free Palestine, then we have to stay united and organized behind this priority. And we've started to see victories with because of this. So for example, on Monday the 14th of June, 17 MPs debated and discussed sanctions on Israel and recognizing the state of Palestine. And the vast majority of them supported Palestine's side. So how did we get to this point? So hundreds and thousands of Palestine supporters organized behind petitions for those demands and they carried on pushing those MPs through emails and letter writing and so on to uh, to attend the debate and to speak on Palestine side and even mosques and scholars and other institutions played their part and promoted the action alerts promoted the petitions and so on so alhamdulillah think about it these institutions put aside their differences and united on the priority of a free Palestine and after all of that effort, yes, we got a small debate. Yes, it was only a small debate. But this is what progress looks like. It might have felt anticlimactic. But most of those MPs supported Palestine. Only four really stood up for Israel. And what we have to keep in mind is that the energy, the organizing, the unity behind that push for those debates increases the pressure on all the other fronts as well. Let me explain. For example, what we're seeing right now in Batley and Spen is an election that might be decided by the candidate stances on Palestine. Just think about how huge that is. It's literally in national media at the moment. And secondly, you know, we've got another parliamentary procedure coming up, an early day motion that is calling for an arms embargo on Israel. We've got potentially, we've got a bill that's coming up that will actually legally stop uh, arms trade with Israel for its offensive weapons. And most importantly, most impressively of all, because of all this public pressure, from the Muslim community and the supporters of Palestine, because of all this public pressure, look at our young people in their schools, look at what they are doing, look at what they are saying, standing up for Palestine. By keeping up the public pressure, we are giving confidence to the next generation to keep this fight going. So we know, we know that Israel is losing support. And we will know we know that they will continue to do so if the Muslim community remains united and organized behind the priority of a free Palestine. We have seen victory against apartheid before. We saw it with the fall of apartheid in South Africa. We know it can be done. We know it takes time. But if our brothers and sisters in Palestine haven't given up, how can we? How can we give up? So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. There's still a lot of campaigning that needs to be done. And if you can volunteer your time, if you can donate your time by volunteering with us, please do so. If you don't have the time, but you can donate some money, please do so. Support our work. Thank you.